Hi, my name is Michael Lambert. And I'm Kay. Uh, and we've worked here at HKIS for a number of years. I've seen the school grow from 1,200 students to our current enrollment of about 2,600 students. Also, when we arrived, we had two buildings here in the Repulse Bay campus, and now we have four buildings, and they're located here in Repulse Bay in Tai Tam. Uh, one of the things that uh, attracted me to HKS was some friends that we had here before, and they uh, asked if we were interested, and we said yes. When we came, one of the things that she talked about was the caring community uh, at HKIS. And what helps develop that caring community is the fact that, at least in the lower primary, the, there's an open concept of the classrooms, so that promotes a teaming approach with teachers. When they plan, they gather together and, and they plan as a team approach and pulling all the strengths and the positive areas of each teacher. Uh, one of the things that uh, I currently do now is I'm a teacher uh, here at HKIS in the upper primary. It's called a grade 3-4 combination class. I've done a number of uh, teaching positions here from anywhere from grades 2 to 6 as well as administrative work. What's kept me here, I think, is the professional growth opportunities of changing uh, my job descriptions uh, because I've taught grade 2 and grade 5 and then went to middle school and taught grade 6 and now I'm in student services where I'm a, a learning specialist and also work with uh, extended learners. My name is Rob Lamb and I teach drama in the middle school. I come from that beautiful country called New Zealand. You're probably wondering why I came to Hong Kong in the first place. Hey, the answer's simple. I was chasing my girlfriend. Well, the girlfriend didn't work out, but HKS certainly did. I ended up uh, dropping off a CV and then I went to London and three months later I got a call, came back and interviewed, and I've been here for six whole years. I feel pretty lucky to be at HKS because how many places have a full-time drama program? Uh, I teach four classes uh, in the morning and then I teach another couple of classes in the afternoon. Uh, sixth grade classes see me for ten weeks and then rotate through and I have a neat little program and they get exposed to drama and then they say, hey, I'm going to do drama again next year. And then my seventh and eighth grade classes come on and spend their time working to put on a performance. We have this amazing facility called the Black Box Theatre. It's, as I describe, it's just a big black box and I can set it up any way I like. And the kids decide on how they're going to do set, costumes, lighting, the whole design, and perform for their parents. It's a terrific way to teach this course. How many, how many, how many of you honestly were willing to do that given all the things you were trying to get done in the last two weeks? Lauren? My name is Ana Estella Cervelo. I am a Spanish teacher here at the high school and I've been working for HKIS for the past three years. The cien mil millones dollars. Todos los niños pueden... One of the reasons uh, why I work here was because of the curriculum. Um, HKIS has a curriculum who allows the teacher to develop in a way that maybe other schools here in Hong Kong doesn't allow. We have the freedom to experiment and to take things a little bit further. It's not just uh, mere teaching in the classroom. We have the resources and the classroom sizes to do whatever thing we want to do with the kids in the class. Also favors the fact that all of the kids in our schools come uh, from different backgrounds and different countries, which brings to the class uh, a, a new sense uh, it's well interculturality, I would call it, and that allows to do like uh, to experiment with uh, with teaching as well. Vale, vale. Bien, lo que vamos a hacer ahora es lo siguiente. Vamos a ir a Hong Kong. My name is Ian Gill. I'm originally from Canada. After working there as a teacher for a couple of years, my wife and I decided to take a big step and move to Malaysia. Uh, we worked at an international school there for two and a half years and then decided to come to Hong Kong for a party. 
a millennium party to visit some friends. After working at another school for a short time in Hong Kong, I decided to apply to HKIS because I had been here a couple of times and really liked the working atmosphere. The school has tremendous resources. The staff are very experienced and value education. The average size for a language class is something in between 9 to 20 students. And that, I think, it's um, incredible for a language class since most of the classroom sizes, they are about 30, 25. Having such a small class allows you to get in, in a close contact with the kids in the class and not just being a language teacher, you end up knowing them a little bit more and they are engaged more in the classroom than they, they probably are in, in another school. From a technological perspective, the school is quite phenomenal. I don't think there would be another school in the world that has the resources that we do. Uh, we have a video tech lab which is uh, capable of doing uh, news broadcasts. The uh, computer labs that I teach in are phenomenal. The uh, network that our system operates on is uh, easily accessible through the internet, so if you want to check it out at any time, which you probably already have, that would be uh, something to do. The school offers a, a professional growth fund for teachers, which I've been able to use to uh, complete a master's program. Uh, I have also attended various conferences in the United States and throughout Asia. The reason why I've been living in Hong Kong for the past seven years is because it's the perfect mosaic. It's the perfect combination of different cultures all together in such a small place. It's amazing. In such a small city, you can find so many different nationalities. This is a phenomenal city to work in. It's been an adventure every day. Uh, just by walking on the streets of Hong Kong, you see uh, things that surprise you all the time. It's just full of life. It's vibrant. Uh, there's just so many different things that one can do. One can on a Saturday go for a hike go and, shopping. <laughs> and then also one can uh, just go out to the different islands and perhaps you don't know this but there are 240 islands here in Hong Kong and so there is a variety of things to do. I go shopping. <laughs> Most people when they see Hong Kong see the beautiful skyline. Um, I'm actually quite an outdoors person uh, and the hiking opportunities, the uh, beaches, the outdoor atmosphere also the uh, arts, the fine arts that come to Hong Kong, the ballets, the operas, um, Broadway shows that come are uh, enticing to go out and eat and then go to the show. You know, one of the tough things about being in an international school is you're away from your family and your friends back home. The thing that's special about this place are the people that I work with. They come from all different parts of the world and they share the same vision about education. They're excited to be here and they're exciting people to talk to. I feel really professionally challenged by the people I work with. They stimulate me, they excite me every single day. This really is a super place. Also as a couple living in Hong Kong, um, we were able to pick up a few more pearls from the Orient, not just HKS, but also our children, Kayun and Jingwen. And this sort of makes a complete whole for us. And as you can see, it is our home in many different ways. And we hope you come and enjoy Hong Kong with us. We look forward to that opportunity, meeting you, getting to know you, and joining us in our community here at Hong Kong International School.